Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. I'm Andrew, and today I'd like to teach you synthetic division by means of the following example of x raised to the fourth minus 8x cubed plus 24x squared minus 32x plus 16, which is all being divided by x minus 2. So the first thing is you're going to work with your dividend. That's the value that comes to the left there of that division symbol. Whatever your highest power of x is, all you're simply going to do is take that value and add 1 to it. So 4 plus 1 is going to be 5. And what that's going to tell you is it's going to tell you how many columns here you need in your synthetic division table. Then what you have to make sure of is that you have five then terms in this example. Okay? And we do. If you don't have five terms, let's say the x cubed term was missing. By the way, you might notice a pattern, right? It goes x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x. So if this one were missing, just imagine that, and it went x to the fourth plus then 24x squared, what you would have to do is you'd have to put this term back in it. But you can't mess up the total value. So in other words, what you would do is you would add in 0x cubed. 0 times anything is just going to be 0. And adding 0 to something means nothing, right? doesn't do anything. So therefore, what the this technique allows you to do is it allows you to see the coefficient of that x cubed term in that case, all right? So but in this case, the problem is just like this. So all you're going to do now, in decreasing order, you're going to follow it x cubed x, uh, excuse me, x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, etc. You're going to put in the coefficients now. So the coefficient of your x to the fourth term is 1. The coefficient of the x cubed term is negative 8. You've got to take into account those signs. x squared term is going to be the 24. x term is going to be a negative 32. And the constant term is going to be a 16. Great. That's all done. Done with the dividend. Now we get to move to the, to the, to the, to the, to the divisor. There we go. Divisor. So you're going to take your divisor, whatever it is, and you're going to set it equal to zero. And you're going to solve this for x. And what that's going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to find the value that's needed out here on the outside of your table, which is a 2. Now, once you have this top row filled out, the pr this process is very simple. It's just a simple algorithm or a simple series of steps that you're going to have to follow. Take this one and drop it all the way down. Just rewrite the coefficient down there. That's why we have kind of a red box there. Right? You're not going to put anything in it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the value down here and multiply it by the outside value. Whatever that result is, you're going to plug it into this adjacent cell. So 1 times 2 is going to be 2. And then all you simply have to do is add the results of this column. So negative 8 plus 2 is going to be a negative 6. Great. Now just repeat the process. Take this value, multiply it by the outside value. So negative 6 times 2 is going to be a negative 12. And then you're going to add this column together. So that should be now a positive 12. Then take this value of 12, multiply it by 2, put its result in the next adjacent cell of a 24. You're going to add these two now together, right? So negative 32 and a positive 24 should be a negative 8. And then take your negative 8, multiply it by that outside value of, neg of 2, excuse me. And then that's going to be a negative 16. You're then going to add this column together, and you're going to get your last value of a 0. Now, it's not guaranteed that this will be a 0, and if it doesn't work out to be a 0, don't worry about it. You're still going to follow the exact same steps I'm going to list out. So now, let's keep in mind what these terms represent, okay? So we have our remainder, we have our constant term, then we have the coefficient of our x term, the coefficient of our x squared term, the coefficient of our x cubed term, and dot, dot, dot. You can definitely detect the pattern here. The first one will always be the remainder, the second one from the right, that is, is going to be your constant term. And then all you're going to start doing is just do x, x squared, x cubed, and however many x, you know, however many columns you have here. All right. Um, so now, before you start the writing out your quotient, which is the answer when you take a dividend and you divide it by a divisor, got to love math, um, uh, you got to just make sure one, check one thing, okay? You got to go back to your divisor, and you have to locate and identify the coefficient of your x term. So the coefficient in this problem of the x term is a 1, okay? Whatever that coefficient is, what you need to do is you need to take that coefficient and divide it into every single value at the bottom of your synthetic division table, except, except, not accept, except. Right. For the remainder, do not do it into the remainder, okay? Don't do it to the remainder. Now, Obviously, dividing everything by 1 doesn't do a darn thing. But at least if the problem changes now, if this becomes a 2, you know how to approach it. Okay? So 
I need you to think though through that, okay? And then like, for example, if this were a two, right? If everything were a two, then these new values would be, this would be a one half, this would be a negative three, this would be a six, and this would be a negative four, okay? Those would be now your new values, and those would be the coefficients. Cool. In any case, let's write this back, okay? And all we now need to do once we find those proper coefficients is we're just gonna now start writing out the quotient, all right? So you have one x cubed, so write one x cubed, then you have negative 6x squared. Then you have positive 12x. Then you have a negative 8. Do not write negative 8c. It's just negative 8 because it's constant. There is no x. And then whatever your remainder is, okay? So it's plus. I mean, there is no sign here, so it's assumed to be plus. But if it were a minus sign, right, that would be minus. Whatever your remainder is, just take that value, okay, and put it over whatever your dividend is, x minus 2. Now from here, just clean it up. You can get rid of certain things. You don't need the one there. So just write x cubed. Okay, then write minus six, six x squared, plus 12 x, minus eight, and then zero divided by anything is just zero. So you don't have to write that because it's just zero. And this would then be the final quotient. And that's then the final answer of this synthetic division. Okay, so right. Thanks so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can help us out, like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We'd love to help them too. And check out our channel because we have thousands of videos out there, not only in mathematics, but physics and chemistry as well. And we have a lot more coming. We'd love to help you with more. We want to help you get to where you're going. As long as it's school related. Cool? Cool. Thanks again.